Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Rick's uh, DIY. Today what we're going to do is uh, wire up a generator, or I should say properly ground a generator and how to wire it for ground and a couple of various options. So here's my uh, little Champion generator, 1200 running watts, 1500 peak, really lightweight, really quiet. I highly recommend them. I got two of them and uh, I, I can't say enough good things about them. I've just been really happy with it. I like this older style because it has the uh, 12 volt charging. And so I got zip tied right here. So this plugs in and you can uh, charge up uh, batteries, uh, jump start a car. And uh, I really like it for that because I use it out. Uh, we have some property and uh, it doesn't have any power. It's a remote. And I, I really... Uh, like it for that because I've had to jump start my truck before so so that's a good thing about these so what we're going to do is and I have a couple things on top here I'll show you here's our ground right here you can see the little ground symbol and it's just the nut on this one because it's actually wired from the back side I'll show you common thing you'll see on most of them is this little screw terminal and uh, usually you'll see just that part and you'll unscrew it, loosen it up, put a bare wire in there, or a, you know, strip wire that's properly grounded. So this just has the uh, the nut on it there. Um, so all I'll do is I'll move the camera. Let's see the opposite side here. And what we got? Set it up right. See right there, there's actually the, uh, there's kind of a wire hooked up around there, and it's just, it's just, they have it secured there, just kind of sitting, but what it is, is that's a length of wire, I'm just gonna, look at that, it just broke, so, just goes to show you, you gotta test this stuff out, so, so I'm gonna wire this up for, uh, ground, what I'm going to use is this uh, jumper clip here and we'll attach that to some wire and attach it to the frame and then I'll show you where you'd want to properly ground that at. Tighten this up. So now the loop's nice and tight on there. Even just having this like this um, is even more safer. Basically, what happens, the reason why you want to ground it is for one, if there's a, a fault with the generator and Instead of causing the frame to be hot, that you would uh, ground it out, short it out through the ground. So now we've got our wire hooked up. And I don't know, it's probably two and a half, three feet long. So the end of it. Of it, there it is. Didn't have anything on it. I'm gonna put it right on here and just gonna loop it through kind of on this guy.
clamp it down. Get it kind of started like this. Any of these type of clamps will work too. It doesn't doesn't really matter what you use. I just this kind of makes it nice and easy. When the time comes, I'll snap it on there. Looks pretty ugly. Probably wrap some electrical tape on there if I really wanted to. And I'm just gonna now just keep this wrapped around here. Put it on there for now. Okay, so I moved the generator over to uh, corner of the house here, where we got the ground coming in. The ground coming outside, I should say, for the uh, electrical. This is uh, it right here. It's just copper ground wire, bare wire. It's been painted, painted the house. It goes into the grounding rod right here. So you can hook up anywhere on here. And all I'll do when I run the generator before I start anything, is I'll just come over here and click it up. Just bungeed on there and like I said you don't have to use a clip it just kind of makes it a little easier um, you know as long as if it's tucked in there and you had it you know you reclamp it down and like I said you also have those like little clamps I showed you that you could get and you could attach it to this so you could screw it on there or you could just buy another one of these clamps if you had a larger generator it's a pretty small generator so I only have a small wire on it uh, my large generator, we have a, it's permanently grounded with a fixed like this. I just kind of want to show you how to do a, a real quick uh, setup on a uh, portable generator and properly ground it. Thanks for watching. If you guys get a chance, uh, take a look at our website and some of our other videos and uh, stop in and say hi.